Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. He's Mike Brenner. I'm Peter Loshak. We are the Odds Couple. It's week seven in college football. It's Thursday. The you know, kickoff is just two days away, and we're covering a couple of games right now with uh, Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Two very interesting games involving high-profile teams as double-digit favorites, and uh, we, we just broke down Ohio State, Wisconsin. Very, Ooh. very, uh, it was a great call. Now we're going to do the same thing with you know, the Alabama-Tennessee game. Now, this one, Mike Renner, on Monday, you went on Alabama first half and full game. The line, as I expected, has crept up. It's now a 13 market-wide, and um, I don't know. Tennessee is a talented team this year. Alabama, of course, though, uh, you know, they're stepping it up offensively, and, uh, you know, they're getting, you know, good production that way. They are normally a more of a ball-controlled offense, but they're getting results with their high-powered offense right now. What's your take on this game, Mike Renner? You still liking Alabama? Nothing has changed. Mm-hmm. I got it at 11 and a half. All right, it's already moved up. Um, you know, this is there's so many factors in this, and I can't he- wait to hear what mm-hmm. Joe's got to say. But you've got a very good coach on, on Tennessee's sideline, there's no doubt. But you've got the master coming in, and this guy is the ultimate uh, psych- psychologist mm-hmm. as well. All right, he does not and never endorse the type of offense his team is running right now. Years ago, he, he was like, This is gonna, this isn't good for football now. He said, This is where we thrive. And I'm telling you, and I said it then, it all started on the sidelines with a minute left when Kiffin took the pedal off the medal, all right, um, weeks back. And ever since then, this team is thriving on offense. It's not going to slow down. It's not going to stop. The fact that Tennessee has had so many games already that have been, you know, just absolutely nail biters to the end, needing miracles to finish to get the win, all of that, that is not a sign of a team that can come in and do a complete four-quarter game and shut this team down. Because you better be at your best. You better have your A game each and every play to have any chance, whether you're at home, on the road, or I don't care if you're in freaking Costa Rica mm-hmm. playing it. If you're playing Alabama and Nick Saban, you better bring it. And guess what, guys? Tennessee is just not there but yet. Maybe it's Tennessee is one of those teams that, that has a lot of talent but shoots mm-hmm. themselves in the foot. So when they're playing mediocre teams, they mm-hmm. underachieve. But when they're playing teams like Alabama, they still lose, but they cover big underdogs. I sprints. don't know, man. I don't know. I just think at the end, I think coaching is going to, you know, this guy's going to realize he's not on the same page with Saban. He's an up-and-coming coach. They got good talent. Josh Dobbs is going to get frustrated. I mm-hmm. feel that. And Saban's going to open it up early. Well, Kiffin, I should say. But they're going to open this thing up early. They're going to have a big lead at half time, and the Tennessee crowd and all that orange waving mm-hmm. is not going to make a damn difference. All right. Well, Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com probably has some unique insights and some interesting stats into this line. Joe Duffy, what's your take? Well, it's quite interesting. When your very charming and uh, beautiful co-worker, Debbie, each week she asks me to cover games, it's just by mere coincidence, the games that she asked me to uh, cover, literally that is, uh, always seem to fall under the same angle. Not the same angle each week, but whatever game she asked me to cover seemed to fall under the same angle that week. And that's the case again this week. Tennessee falls into my bubble burst theory. Look, Tennessee, they were bending, bending, and they didn't break. And then what happened? They finally broke. All of a sudden, Tennessee, again, they had a lot of, I think, uh, disillusions or illusions that they were going to contend for the national championship. This was going to be their year. And then they finally uh, got their heads handed to them last week. The last thing you want to see after such a devastating loss is Alabama. Mm-hmm. And I just think they're going to get destroyed this year uh, in, in this game. Alabama's won the previous five meetings by an average of 28.4 points per game. Very tough four-week stretch. Florida, that dramatic win. Then they were at Georgia with the literal last second win. And then, of course, they were blown out by Texas A&M. The schedule maker and the situation so unkind to Tennessee. Got to love Alabama here. Mm. Wow. Wow. First and foremost, you're right about Deb. She is a beautiful girl. We're very blessed with that. No doubt about it. You know what? That breakdown was beautiful. It was perfect. And absolutely, you nailed it on the head. This team is so overwhelmed with what happened last week, they didn't have time to think about this storm that's getting ready to come into town. Saban loves this opportunity. He loves this exact platform to show this young coach, hey, you know what? You're just not there yet, and we are. I'm telling you, this isn't going to be a close game. All right. You guys might be onto something. It's definitely a a split line. Market wide now, 12, 12 and a half, or 13 are all widely available. And Sharp Books, the Chris Books are at 13, Pinnacles at 12. So their Sharp Books are in disagreement, and the Greek is right in the middle of 12 and a half. So, uh, well, how about you? We got a third door and it's open. Are you going to jump in with us? Because this one's going to the bank as well, Pistol. Well, I will tell you, uh, I will make one admission that uh, earlier in the week at plus 13, I bet Tennessee. Oh my God, I'm ashamed uh, of you. Yeah, I'm yeah, serious. No, I mean, well, I, that's I, a head to head, even yeah, though it's not well, official. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to think about whether I want to give this one yeah, officially. You better on way the, off I just, of that one. I feel like, I feel like just this Tennessee, I understand that in past 
past okay. years, Tennessee has gotten blown out by Alabama. I feel like this year, Tennessee is is just you know the best version of what they've been in a while. There's a lot. But they of haven't there. put one full game together. They don't four need quarters, to cover Pete. a double digit qu- oh. a double digit spread. Either. Oh, so it could be a backdoor is what you're thinking. Right. But a guess what? Or- right now, Lane Kiffin wants to show Big Daddy, and that's that's from Saban. That guess what? We're not going to stop all game. This team is liable to put 50 points yeah. on the board. I'm thinking, Pistol Pete, if you want to cash, you better jump on a total, baby. All right, maybe I will. Joe Duffy and uh, Mike <laughs> Brenner are not uh, not uh, questioning their opinions on this one. Both uh, leaning Alabama, and uh, sounds like uh, Joe Duffy. How much are you liking this? Because Mike Brenner obviously is like this quite a bit. Yeah. Maybe it's not necessarily a wheelbarrow game, but you're like, oh, it's a wheelbarrow. A, oh, it is shovel. A wheelbarrow. It's an automatic. All one. right, no but Joe Duffy, how much are you liking this? I, I can tell you that I have a bunch of premium plays up, and I will tell you flat out if I have a premium play on the game. I don't actually have a premium play on this game, and it's literally on the uh, bubble. But, yeah, that's very mm-hmm. interesting. Don't forget, as far as the Lane Kiffin angle, if there's any team he would love to run the score up against, it would certainly be Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't even bring that yeah. up, Joe, because yeah. this yeah. is the same guy that, guess what, he's probably going to have to have five bodyguards, all right, at <laughs> all times when he's there. Yeah. When that guy left Tennessee the way he did, he was literally told, and not by, you know, it was told by some local buddy, some hillbillies in the wood. And I'm telling you, guys that really that make the grain of what that state is, and it's a wonderful state, they told him, don't come back here because it ain't going to be safe. And you know what? Thank God he's got five bodyguards, but you hit it on the head. He wants to beat this team every damn time. Joe Duffy's website is offshoreinsiders.com. Mike Brenner, I, of course, come from sportsbookreview.com. Joe Duffy and Mike Brenner, thanks so much for your impassioned analysis here. God, we love it. Thank you, gentlemen. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.